the party reaches the dragon's lair and is just one more climb away from the treasure hoard. Grimes climbs up with rope and Omelie follows. Unfortunately, Kel Marshall forgets to secure her with a climbing harness, so when Omelie slips and falls, there is nothing to stop her fall to the hard ground below, and her short life ends brutally. Grimes makes a small funeral cairn for Omelie inside the dragon's lair, while William reaches the lair at the same time a dragon shows up. Fortunately, William manages to scramble inside the cave before the dragon reaches them. With the use of the potions and the enchanted horn, they drive off the dragon and lay claim to all its treasures. They find several magic items amongst the hoard, but with no Yaromir, there isn't a way to identify their use. They camp in the cave waiting for the dragon to return, but after many days they decide to leave. Next they go to explore the giant's graveyard and find nothing of interest, so head to the first king's tomb. During the journey, they are attacked by another dragon. Again, the party drives it off, thanks to a heroic gamble by William, using his spear to teleport onto the dragon's back. Frustrated by the escaping worm, they continue onwards to the tomb. They find nothing new at the tomb, but decide to remain there and rest up. During watch, Grimes spots a scrag, who they follow and ambush, while it investigates the site of the dragon fight. They can't quite decide what to do next, with William wanting to head back to Swampside, and Grimes wanting to go scrag hunting. Grimes convinces William that vengeance is the best course of action, and so they go eagerly to rid the land of the Scrag menace. How did the Scrags know of the dragon fight? Will they ever make it back to spend their fortune? Why do the Scrags skin kobolds alive? Let's find out now on Frozen Frontier. Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Frozen Frontier. How are you guys doing? Doing well. Doing yeah. well. Nervous. Yeah, I don't know if I would say I'm eagerly going uh, scrag hunting. Yeah. But uh, there's only room on this island for uh, one group of cannibals. <laughs> uh, All right, yeah. All right, do we have uh, catching up to do, or shall we just uh, get straight to the campaign? Um, I would say let's get straight to the campaign, but yeah, yeah, we, I'm actually uh, having trouble with tabletop audio. It's not working. The buttons are missing. I can't click on anything. Oh my god, you guys, vamp, fill time. Okay. Hold on. All right. Let's just stop. So we're in the tent. We're at the edge of this forest, aren't we? Um, mm hmm. Which leads into the mountains, and you're Grimes. You're telling me about these traps that you're gonna set. So, how do you how do you plan to build these traps to capture these scrag scribes? <clears throat> hmm. I. F well, these are their lands, so. And they are, um, maybe proficient, skilled. Let's see what we're working with. And I think we can like, uh, ins like take a look inside the portable hole and do like a gear check. Yeah. That's a, that's a lot of uh, plus one swords. Yeah. I'd so can, how uh, do you open your portable hole? Is it like in the tent? Or are you just doing this out on the open snow? I think it fits in the tent, right? The mm -hmm. Yeah. Especially with only two of us. Totally. So you so like? Camp, I think we're. I think. I think the plan is we, we camp out here, and explore this valley. If we run into a patrol of four of them, flee. Well, reposition, right? The brave Sir William would never uh, run from a fight, would he? Hmm. Well, look at all this stuff we've got here. 
This could be the greatest yeah, figure we can make at least a uh, half dozen pit traps with all, the, with all these blades. An ordinary fall might not uh, kill a scrag, but uh, and put drop onto that, and I kind of just gesture into the portable hole is basically just a uh, just a hole filled with uh, sharp Good object. <laughs> Bury a couple of these out there. Cover them with uh, with a scrag cloak. Use their own weapons against them. Could work. Yeah. Their own woods I, uh... against them. I think we need to scout out this valley, figure out where they live, how they move. Hmm. If only that damn Ferris were here. I'm nervous about heading deeper into the valley. Well, it's, you know, it's a wide valley too. I mean, like, it gets, this is like, they, I mean, like to our eyes, this is probably just a forest. Like you, we can't see to, we can, I mean, we can see you the can see the mountains at the, yeah. the other end, but as we're um, looking, it's a lot the, of terror, a lot of land. As we're looking into the portable hole, now I want to grab the mask, uh, and I'm just is gonna. That, is that you... thing still here? That that creepy fucking mask followed us. I think Grimes kind of lost track of it after Amelie died. Right? Yeah. Like, I would. I don't think I would have brought that with us. I picked it up. So it's uh, a little spooky to see it sitting there atop the... Uh, I, I grab it and I hold it. I'll look, look down at it and I'll say, uh, it's strange, you know, everyone that's worn this mask has ended up dead. I mean... Uh, is the Amulet of Tempos here, too? Yeah. yeah. Everyone who wore that ended up dead, too. Everyone on this continent ended up dead, William. <laughs> yeah. Except for us and a few of those damned and scrags. Do you remember when we first found this mask? I say, say sit back against the tent here. <clears throat> that that bone, bone dragon? You remember what... How it happened though? Faris and Yaramir had left. We were on our own, the two of us. Mm hmm. Running f through the dark, being chased by skeletons. Look at us now. Bonafide dragon slayers. It's Bonafide. <laughs> uh -huh. It's funny, uh, looking, looking at this now, thinking back to that time. What we're doing now isn't so different to that. Hmm. <clears throat> We're on our own. Faris and Yaramir have left us. Except We're in the talk. Except there's no camp waiting for us. There's no fort. There's no boat coming to get us. But really, well, we didn't charge headlong into the Burn Dragon on our own, did we? We went back, regrouped. Thoughts of a strategy. If I remember, we spent you a think month healing. I know, I know you don't yeah. believe, Grimes, but I've seen things I've... I, I swear to you that Balin watches us. The gods don't, are involved here. Don't if, believe. How could I... How could anyone not believe? I give a nod to you, the, uh, Sheed sword at your side. Then... The, there um, are... Balin himself sent me to the, the cave the scrags and the stasis allow me the chance to return to conquest and see if he has any further guidance for us before we charge headlong into their midst it worked for us back then below the temple and there is so much that we didn't understand then it in those all those places in conquest that there has to be answers there if there's answers to this thing it's got to be there we're on the right side of the river Clear day, we can make it to Conquest before sundown. I uh, look outside the tent and check the weather. It could be uh, What time of day is it? We, so we've got, a, we've got a tent set up. I think this is maybe the night, the night we got here. Is this the night we got here? Was that how, yeah. that, I think that was how the movement worked. We camped like right here on the 
in the hills of this mountain. Looks yeah, looks like I think to forest. today is the 23rd or the 24th. I'm not sure which day we're on. We're going to say it's the 23rd. I don't know. Did we did you do we end the session the day that you arrived here? I think so. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I think we just made it after a day's travel here. Is yeah, I just don't remember if I marked off that day or not. I think you're on the 23rd. We're going to say I mean, you are. I feel like there'll be a message from Miktaki any moment. No. Maybe. <laughs> It'll be after we've moved on. Yeah. Like 10 just seconds after we've made a decision that we can't change. Yeah. Um, the kangaroo's got to deliver those packets. Yeah, so what's the weather? So what's it like outside the tent? Moderate. Moderate. Mm. Could you do it? Um, let's see. Moderate tundra skis with proficiency. If we get a good day, we could do it. The, there's a forest On between here and Conquest, isn't there? We could totally yeah, camp can... there. Yeah. I don't think we should camp we in like the open crowd it. though with that giant right, music for us. All right, all right. Is yeah, it morning? Should... So we've we've spent a night in the on the outskirts of Scrag territory, right? Yes. But I assume we made camp somewhere reasonably. No one uh, attacked you in the night. No there one attacked to... us in the night. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, five D twenty. That should be fifty-five miles. We should be able to make it there. <clears throat> yeah. Okay. All right. We can. We can. You know, Scrags have been waiting here fifteen hundred years. Thank you, Grubs. I. We can. Look, uh, I, I. I know that the. Spare a day to conquest. With all of the party dead and with the the camp dead. I'm not really the leader of any expedition anymore, so I don't, I don't consider myself in charge of you, but I appreciate you giving me the chance to try this. Like it or not, we're in this together. Stuck on this cursed continent. Bops. I, I always said... I always thought this was a death sentence. I suspected as much myself, but... uh just don't think it's quite fair you... uh <laughs> You winding up in, uh... Well. Hey, well, uh, if it is a death sentence, maybe you deserved it, but I certainly don't. <clears throat> wow. <sighs> well, you've earned my respect, Grimes. Mm. If not as a thief, then as a mountain climber, at least. And as a friend. Well, you guys make your way to Conquest with Daylight to Spare. Right. Here you are. So, uh, so as as we like pull in through the through the uh, damaged wall, right? It's like uh, marked with fire where there was a fireball cast in the wall or something, I assume. Mm-hmm. Skis like slide to a halt, and uh, I say, "Well, where should we where should we camp?" Can we see the can we see the map of conquest now? Uh, it's in your hand. It's a handout, right? Yeah, oh. yeah. Where did we stay last? Oh, let's um, let's stay, stay in the the Bellum the Temple. The Temple of Bellum, yeah. Yeah. Of course. I think we do stop by the. Was it the keep? Where? No, it wasn't the. Where was the? Uh, where was the fort set up? The one that the Scrags in the, in, the, in the main temple, I think, in the center. Oh, that's right. That's right. The main temple, which is... Oh, the all. Okay. So I think that is where we first come to a halt. Realize we're obviously staying at the Bellum, Temp Bellum Temple. But do we oh. see anything here? Has anything disturbed this... Uh... This place does not look this... like it's been touched since you've been here last. Mm -hmm. Fresh coats of snow cover everything. There's no signs of tracks. There's no signs of disturbances. Just the black and charred on the already ruined city. I look so. like, I look, uh, what is it? Less than a quarter mile, basically down the main, what used to be the main boulevard through town to the uh, Temple of Belfara. Was that building, we've been in that building, right? It's it's in, uh, it's yeah, intact. Can... There's a dungeon underneath, right? Which one was the one, Neil, that had the, um, the weird, like, pit of hell in it? <laughs> That was the temple in Swampside, I believe. Oh yeah, that was the Swampside. Yeah. You know, uh, is this the one with the bone dragon? Was this where that fight was? 
No. Underneath Bellum. Yeah, Van Velthara might have been the Bone Dragon, yeah. Because Velmontarius was the one with the prison and the Frozen Princess. Bellum is the one where we got attacked by Undead. And then there's Shrine in the bottom. Velthara, I think, maybe was the Bone Dragon. Quantarius, I think there was nothing there. And I'm not sure what was in Illumis. Hmm. Wow. But, um, Let's... you know... We're, we're making camp in the in the Bellum Temple. I'm not going to go head down to the shrine this evening, and I'm cooking up our rations or whatever. And I'm looking at, or I'm thinking about. I, I, I'm sitting at the edge. Maybe I'm looking out into the street, and we're in the Bellum Temple, and directly on the other side of the main temple is a temple to Belthara. I think back to the mainland, right back at home. Bellum and Belthara aren't particularly important gods. Well, you know, important, but they're not revered above others in the mainland, right? They are not the highest ranking gods, that's true. Do you think it's weird at all, Grimes? This entire kingdom here seems to be built around Bellum and Velthara. All the, the monsters seem to worship Velthara and Bellum has a, a place here in Conquest that maybe would be unusual for our cities back home. <sighs> a strange culture. What if um, to worship uh, vengeance and war? I'm, I bet the Caledonians were a formidable people, but I can't say that I'd like to meet one. Hmm. Almost seems like the humans versus the Scrags. It's almost <clears throat> represented by this equality between Bellum and Valfara. The eternal war war against vengeance. Vengeance Two sides. for a war started. Two sides of the same blade. Do you remember the crypt in Swampside where we fought that whatever that thing was, like the gateway with the, the undead um, that warped through the walls? In that chamber, there was a statue of Bellum facing off against the statue of Belfarid. I don't recall, but I believe it. I think both of us tried to forget Is this that a... Is this temple intact, or, or was it was it ruined in the? No, it's intact. Centuries? Yeah, there are other statues and things like intricate carvings, columns. What? What well, are let's we? Let's just bring you back into the Temple of Bellum. Oh, cool. Great. Oh, there we're, so we are in front of a massive uh, bronze statue. A massive statue of Bellum. There is, are is, dead bodies all around you. Was, wasn't this the shrine deep, deep down? Yeah, wasn't this underneath? This is the deep. Yeah, this is inside the Temple of Bellum. Yeah, like, sorry, I don't think we've gone down into the under. under no, we were like it's setting oh. up camp in the entrance, I think. Well then, you don't see any of this. Yeah, yeah. we'll go down well, there. Could you not put our tokens at the entrance to the, or was that a dungeon? Oh, I could. No, I could put your tokens at the very entrance, but it, the entrance, the map has a just a dungeon on it. Okay, Doesn't so that's, the, that's the below the temple. That's what yeah. I was asking for a description of the above ground. Aha. Uh -huh. Do you remember? Yeah, so this is the, this is the staircase in the in the right. back, or was it? Um, I don't remember where the staircase is located, but it does go down into the temple. The up, upper area has seen wear and tear and damage. Anything of value has already been stripped from it. There are some statues around, some iconography still existing. Yes. Is there any, like, um, you know how you would get in a Catholic church, like the 12 stages of the cross that tell, like, a story? Is there anything like that? Are there, like, uh, pictographs and carvings or... Yeah. We've seen those in other places, but I... The Temple of Bellum and Swampside had pictographs going around the base I mean, I guess... of a central thing. Uh, there are... Is it an remember... unadorned temple? I mean, it's got artwork, and, right? Or was it... I mean, it shows of what, signs of wealth? There probably were or signs of wealth, but no longer. Um, this okay, upper so level has, so been... It has been... It's been looted and stripped bare? It's been looted and stripped bare, and I think there's no iconography left in here. I don't mm -hmm. remember telling you about any iconography so the first time you came. It's a cavernous marble building or something like that? Yeah. We'll have to look for answers below. Yeah. Let's, uh, let's get some but sleep. We... And tomorrow we'll check it out. So we've like set up a tent inside of the building? Or, or a fire inside the... We probably laid a fire on the porch, right? Or something yeah, like that? Yeah, on the entrance, yeah, I think. I guess that's what we've been doing in general when we've been inside buildings. Just make a bonfire. We can probably scavenge wood from other buildings or, nearby. Or, or if there's like a window or something, or, we could build the fire by the window. Or there, mm -hmm. Yeah. Are there trees in that uh, garden? 
in the center of town, or is it? Uh, just it's been pretty everywhere? heavily lumbered down by the camp when they were here for a month. Um, they probably haven't taken it all. How big was that area? Enormous. Uh, a half mile in length. Okay, so there's probably a few trees there. So but they had been they had been working on it, and other people had destroyed trees there in the past. It's, it's like cent- it's like a well, it's, it's like Central small. Park. Way smaller than Central Park, but yeah, it's like a city park. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Central Park's 1.3 square miles. This looks probably like a little less. It's oh yeah, half way less. By an, half times an eighth, which is yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's not very much at all. So, um, on my watch, I want to open the portal. We have, we have half a day, actually, right? We get oh, here with daylight. Oh, right, okay. So we get here at night. Perfect time for dungeon delving, right? Mm-hmm. You get here with oh, a few cool. hours before nighttime. Okay, let's do that then. Let's uh, head down the stairs. Not and that. I want to, uh, Not that really, yeah. I give you the, the gem of seeing and I say, keep a lookout for secrets that we may have missed. <laughs> Yeah, I assume it wouldn't be helpful to use the spyglass as well, even though it's. Uh, um, I don't think so. Even though it confers advantage on perception checks. It only checks. confers advantage on perception checks because you have zoom on your eyes. Yeah. It wouldn't be functional. I, yeah, yeah. yeah. I already have the gem of true seeing on my character sheet. Looks Roughly. like you gave it to me previously, or I have uh, stolen it. Itchy, itchy fingers. Uh, no, I think you gave it to me before. Um, so yeah, I guess I keep one eye closed and uh, use my not that as, one. As we're walking down the stairs, and uh, yeah, my little monocle. As we're walking down the stairs into the dungeon, I say, Grant, do you remember the the ghost we saw here? That spoke to us. What did it say? <laughs> it, 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 Bet you remember that ghost. Yeah. Called us. Yeah. Princess. They called Yarame a princess. Called us all by strange names. There's something here that we're not, that we're missing. I think. When we were here last, all we looked, all we cared about was. Yeah. As we're walking through the dungeon, Neil, am I seeing anything through the gem of true seeing? Like, are there, are we in the presence of spirits or? Nope. Nothing, Nothing not unusual. It is it difficult to walk with like the red, uh, red tint, or is it possible to navigate? Only if you got some sort of like equilibrium problems. <laughs> if you're yeah, a good. diplomat in Cuba, you might have issues with it, but that's about it. All right, so then I guess we do go to that temple, that statue of Belm eventually. Yeah, is there any iconography or pictures or stories being told on the walls down here? Oh, lots of them. Tons of them. Mm-hmm. Any, anything with the Scruggs? Yes, definitely. Can I want to take a look at anything like that? Yeah, well, the covers of the sarcophagi, some of them are fairly unadorned. Some of them have images depicting battles usually large numbers of humans against a few small numbers of Scrags. So it seems like the Scrags were always more powerful. Yeah. Uh, so it, it lo- also looks, does it look like the temple was built like during when the war was on? When did the war end? Well, yeah, but it, it doesn't look like it was built before the war then. Definitely not. I think this is just the way it was in Caledonia. Humans battled Scrags, but they came and went, didn't they? Weren't there epochs where they would disappear into the trees and the stones and the mountains and hibernate for hundreds of years? If the, it, it fell far, it guides the Scrags. Then why, do they, why would the humans build a temple here to Valthara? Why do we or, build temples to Verasi? Or did... I'll just because both death, tell, is, but... death is part of life. I look at my gloves, Neil. They look man-made. As opposed to scrag-made? Yeah, like, it's the only way I can tell that they look non, non-man-made. non Well, they were sized for human hands, not scrag hands. Um, they are well-stitched, but they're magical, so they have to be well-made to be suitable for enchantment. Um... I don't know if you know enough about. I my mean, they're, they're are... gloves, right? They're just fucking gloves. How my my hands are bigger than Grimes's, right? 
Probably. You're taller than Grimes, yeah? Yeah. Grimes, try and put these on. Do they alter their size? <clears throat> I swap my gloves, which are probably, I probably have dragon skin gloves at this point, right? They come with the whole suit of armor. I swap um, those out for uh, the ones William. Do they shrink? Uh, what's your height, William? Six foot six. Ooh, Grimes, you're six one? Uh, six two. But six I probably two. have large hands. I'm strong, uh, I guess. Yeah, they'll, they'll fit you just fine. Sure. But they, did, they but fit, do they fit the... just fine, or do they are they a little loose because they're sized for William? No, they fit pretty well. Okay, so they I think they fit like a glove and like slide on my hands just as perfectly as they slid on Williams. Sure. The stripes yeah. made these. Did they grow when I put them up? I you think didn't the see any visual didn't notice, changes. Like yeah. it seemed so natural. Yeah. It's unnatural. It, a perfect I... fit, I remark. And uh, I go to like play with them, whatever. Like I don't know, like instinctually do whatever Grimes would do with gloves. Probably like sheathe and unsheathe blades and phase and unphase, mm -hmm. right? And twirl okay. them around in my hands and feel them out. They, I mean, they, they can. Throw I mean, you a get a plus one to hit. Yeah, plus one to hit. So I like shadow box or whatever phase box the uh, <laughs> the air right. in front of me. All right, I'll take that bucket. I, yeah, Thank I'll you. yeah reach sheathe my weapons and give them back. So I want to yeah and, take in the pictography the decoration of this place i really want to try and understand the story that they're trying to tell is it one of an eternal battle that never ends that exists just for the glory of war or does it feel like this is a war that wants this to is like work? a tomb this is a tomb to the fallen warriors bellum yeah right? so these are like pictographs depicting their noble pursuit or their you know their noble is that all the pictures, deeds in life what you guys see here is going to just be the as Graham said, the fallen soldiers. So any iconography is humans versus scrags in the heat of battle, and it's everywhere over here. But this but is also it... like, you know, you're looking at a source that is purely dedicated to war. So you're only gonna get a, a small sliver of the whole story in this crypt. I understand that, but does does it glorify the battles or does it glorify the humans? In the, the way that the, the way that the scrags are the scrags are shown in the pictures, do they look weak? Do they look? Are you wondering if this could be scrag? These could be scrag carvings. I'm wondering, does Bellum just want the war versus? Does Bellum just want war, or does Bellum want the humans to win? Well, that's a question that isn't going to be answered by carvings on sarcophagi. <laughs> but yeah, sure. To answer your yeah. question, uh, it seems to be mostly about specific heroes. You know, each, if there's a, a sarcophagus with iconography on it, it'll yeah. have like one person with a, a troop of people behind him or in front of him or surrounding him, but there'll be one standout character and then Does, Scrag. Sometimes they're of, like defending walls. Sometimes they're charging into forests. Sometimes they're open the, terrain. Uh, any of these heroes have a flaming sword? No. Okay. None of them were cool enough to have a flaming sword. <laughs> Okay. Otherwise, they probably wouldn't have died. Well, there, so. there wasn't. A, there weren't catacombs beneath the Temple of Belfaro, were there? There was that's, something. Yeah. That's where Yaromir went and got his robes oh, and clothes and spoke well to the dead. Yeah. Shit. All right. Let's uh, make our way to the the statue. Okay. So no one a is. Bell. No one was buried in Belthara. This is a human. This is yeah. Oh, there are people who were buried in the Belthara tomb. Totally. There were. Oh yeah. Lots of them. Now I'm kind of curious what's going on over there, but right, we'll we'll check it out. Uh, so I open up the portal hole. Mm -hmm. I want to grab some scrag boots, some scrag cloaks, some scrag what? swords. What else? What else are we taking off dead scrags? Wait, wait, you're meaning to make another offering? I mean to try. You think it'll work twice? I Plus mean, those... we're running in the dark, being chased by skeletons, crimes. I'll do anything to find a way up back upstairs. Those. These artifacts are priceless. Not if we die. <laughs> says greedily, looking like self-consciously up to this iconography of the god before them. Not only I'm, a, I'm not going to take them all. I take like three swords, three cloaks, three sets of boots. Okay, three swords, yeah. three cloaks, three sets of boots. Are anything else that we've been taking off Scrugs. How many swords are left in your Bows. portable hole? I mean, I think there's like I, I you never gave us. I know, you know so you're not you're intentionally not taking all of the swords. You're leaving the overwhelming majority of swords in the the bag. Three three swords, three bows, three boots, three cloaks, and I'm gonna put each one on one bit of the altar. Okay. 
Okay. Yeah, so there's what the front front one's got the swords, then the next one's got the bows. Alright, Grimes. Neil. Alright, Grimes Neils. Oh, I I am um, Yeah, okay. I kneel beside uh William. Alright. And then um I draw my sword and I'll kneel down as well. And I look up at the statue. How did, how is it posed to the statue? What's it look like? He is reaching out a single hand above you, almost like he's give, granting a blessing. Okay, let me just think about what I want to say here. Um, okay, so I say um, in prayer, but eyes closed, holding the sword, um, like just just down to my side, like holding it in front of me. I'm, I say, um, Great Lord Bellum, I have vanquished our foes. Please grant me strength and guidance and show me where to go next. Are you rolling things over there? It's working, Grimes. <laughs> Grime starts the, to fidget. I say, wait. I mean, the, I'm, totally, I'm still kneeling, but like I'm like peeking. I, I think it's, it's like when you're, <laughs> someone's saying a blessing and you're, I don't know. The swords, swords boots, bows, cloaks are gone. You gave away cloaks? And Grimes is thinking in his head as he sees the, uh, the cloaks disappear. Mm -hmm. What happens? Nothing, but they're gone. Grimes moves to stand, if that's all right. Um, I look through the uh, gem at the statue before me. At the it seems me. a plain and ordinary statue of a great god. Doesn't seem to be anything interesting going on. My sword hasn't changed. Nope. I look, stand and look and step back. Well, I must have done something. They're gone. The sheet, the sword. Your offering uh, was accepted. But, it's gonna uh, be something. Why? Pops. Why, why make sacrifices stuff. to Bellum? What is? What does he need with more blades? He wants the scribes He's... defeated. Surely, in a world where we're running short on allies, we shouldn't turn our back on this one. You speak of the gods, William. They're not, uh... I don't... They're not of this world. They're not our allies. You couldn't know that. Not... You're no scholar. I've seen things... Nope, you're right. I've seen things in this temple alone that... many priests scattered all over Arcadia have never seen. Miracles. We've been chosen for something. I'm just not sure what it is. Come, let's um, let's review the other side. And I turn and go to walk back up. Okay, you walk back up. Shall we um, go to Balthara? I'll follow if you uh, if you'd like to go there. But I have no uh, particular itch to visit let us go we, we we need answers Grimes we, we need we need direction of some sort perhaps there is perhaps there is something there that can help us look if we let's go then um but I don't think we're going to find answers in any of these temples I flick the uh, gem of true seeing around in my hand and go to uh take a look at the temple of Althara so okay. we head across town, Neil? Yeah, you head across town to the Temple of Velthara. Um, once upon a time, there was a... Map, a right? There's just like a... There right. was a room below that Yarm... Like a small room, right? There was a was... staircase that went down, and there was a malevolent presence that kept everyone but Yaramir at bay. Oh, that's right, that's right. Um, that presence seems to be gone now. Oh, great. What's beneath the Temple of Velthara? Do I see anything... Uh... 
Let's bodies. check it out. Lots bodies? and lots of bodies. Buried in walls. Some of them are in sarcophagi. Most of them are just embedded in the walls. And as you... Are they human? Yes. As you explore around, you find some larger sections that almost look like mass dumping grounds or mass graves where there's just corpses formerly stacked on each other, but now that they're bones, they're all just kind of falling over. Um, this place is much less well organized. The number of corpses in here is much, much, much higher. Um, and they have signs of damage. Lots of broken bones, scratch, uh, smashed skulls, that sort of thing. Mm-hmm. The is victims there any... of war. There's no one in armor, no one with weapons. Civilians murdered. Or... S- soldiers stripped of their arms and equipment and... Maybe innocents murdered by the strikes. Are they all, they're all... Men's bodies, or are no, there no men's, children women's, mixed? children? Okay. Innocents murdered by the Scrugs, presented to Valfar as some sort of offering, a, a request for How, vengeance. These are ancient, though, right? These are yeah. these have been here, frozen under the ice for fifteen hundred years. Okay. Yeah, and most of the most of the bones are older than that. You know, they're degraded or decomposed long before the world froze over. <laughs> You're on to something here, though, Nick. Is anything not what it seems? No, everything. Well, there is a there is a frozen body standing uh, near the entryway with his arms out, as if he is presenting something to you. But he's got nothing in his arms. That's this is this is where Yarmir got his. Uh, yeah, yeah. Well, I don't think we saw that though. Okay. But you didn't see that before, her, so you're yeah. seeing that for the first time. Yeah, but we walked past that to get to yeah. the piles of bodies, right? Yeah. Yeah. And that was not, there was nothing that that triggered with the gem of the true scene? No, nothing triggered Just, that. Do you, what does Grimes, this do you, even do? do? do <laughs> see any ghosts, any, anything of the ethereal? There's, I don't see anything through this gem, but it doesn't take true scene to tell you that this is a cursed place. Why did that torture Lit- chamber have ghosts scattered aplenty? But here, with all these dead, there's nothing. Perhaps these have already been put to rest. We are in a temple, after all. The temple yeah. did have a very angry, malevolent presence before that yeah. has quieted. Yeah. Happy that the strikes have been burnt. <sighs> I look around, Neil. Is there anything written on the walls here, or is this just like a plain stone kind of place? Uh, there are some depictions. Uh, these are, un- unlike the, the Bellum ones, these seem to show Scrags on the offensive, and vi- like um, there's a small village that's on fire with people fleeing and Scrags stabbing them in the back as they run, sort of thing. But there are fewer depictions. It's much more of a, like a mass grave. There's no, um, there's no altar or anything like that to Valthara. There is. Um, near the back, there is a altar and sort of like a consecrated area to Valthara where there are no corpses, but there's little pools where you might have had water or holy oil or something. Um, All right, so I know what I do then. I uh, reach into my back and grab the vial of holy water that I took from the never-ending fountain in the temple in Swampside. Mm-hmm. I knew I was saving this for a reason, and I, I pour it a little bit in each of the bowls. Okay. And then I I take the mask, which I've put in my backpack now, I, I pull it out and I look at it, and I think about how this represents all our friends that have been killed. And I place it on the altar. And then um, if Grimes is nearby, I'll tell him to kneel, but otherwise I'll kneel. And I'll say, um, Lord Velthara. I will... I don't know if I do, Neil. You can start to do your prayer. And... Lady. Lady Valthara, <laughs> grant me the strength to enact vengeance on the Scrags. The mask is um, still there. Yeah. Yeah. I, I was presenting it in the way that the humans presented the bodies. It was like a representation of mm-hmm. Yaramir and Amelie. Well, Valthara has this... not taken it yet. Yeah, I wonder, well, if we no. could, 
give that thing to Bellum. Get it gone for good. <laughs> you think you'd want it? I don't. Is uh, is the is the Valfara shrine a statue? Yes, uh, there is a statue behind it, but there is like a a more proper altar and area. Um, I try to so put the mask on the statue. <laughs> Statue's on a bit of a podium. You're gonna have to climb onto the podium and like, you know, up, up, all the way onto it, just so you know. Yeah. Reach I'll over. Okay. I mean, yeah, I'll, I'll try and not disturb it as much as I can, but I will, uh, when I try and do this. Uh, you set the mask on the face of the statue and it conforms to it. Give me a saving throw versus petrification. Both of us? Sorry, <laughs> fear. Yep, both of you. Oh, yeah. Resist the fear effects. Uh, petrification. Let me just check what that is. I'm level ten. Aren't I like? No, is it just like it's like a minus two attack rolls if I fail? Yeah. Um, I think twelve. I fail. You fail. I fail as well. But I don't think we're. I think we're high enough level that we don't run in terror, right? I should have. Wait a minute. Are we doing these saving throws right? Yeah, it, you've got it. Yeah, higher is higher is better. Your saving throw gets lower as you get higher in level. Right now, my right, I should have so rolled level 20, 20 greater than twelve. Yeah, you you're should level roll twenty. Your saving throw is like five. Oh yeah, so it is wrong. Right, because if you if your saving throw is five at level twenty, then you should you be able to pass it more easily. Through, yeah, right? so, so you, you roll shouldn't roll. To fail. You shouldn't roll your d twenty plus your saving throw. I know you that's what roll. I was saying. I, I, yeah, it was a typo. On my, it should have been d twenty greater than twelve, not d twenty right. plus twelve. Right. Okay. Should I roll again now? So, no, well, you both rolled below what you needed. Yeah. Yeah. So we both fail. You both fail. You are overcome by fear uh, and terror as the statue of Elthara stares at you, bright flames burning in her eyes, and she begins to step off the pedestal Holy in shit. your direction. <laughs> um, oh, my God. Give me an initiative roll. Oh, man. That is not cool. Uh, run. Oh, yeah. God. <laughs> oh, God. Roll slowly. Oh, dear. I still feel like this might be a good thing. <laughs> Kel Marshall, no. you're the first one to act. You feel the statue of Elthara moving before you. You see the burning red eyes staring at you with the hatred of 1500 years. And you are scared. Scared, so I got a minus two to hit, right? Uh, minus two to hit and damage, I believe. Yeah, okay. Oh, no, I'm not, I think I'm it's not... minus two to hit and saving throw? But I'm not, I'm not compelled to run well, You though. tell us, but... Uh, I will not say that you have no action other than to run. Does it have a weapon? It's not holding a sword <laughs> in its hands, if that's what you're asking. I look at Grimes. Grimes. Uh, Grimes, I think, is a little bewildered. bewildered. Like he's staying, he hasn't. I haven't acted yet. I'm standing behind you, mouth agape. Yeah. Okay. So uh, I think I start well, to bump, bump. Not, not, no, probably not even like fully comprehending that the statue is come to, coming to life. I wrote. I rolled three for initiative, so that's move, not attack. So I, I try. I start backing up as the statue approaches. I'm not, I don't turn and full run, I back up if thematically it makes more sense and mm -hmm. maybe I start to like push Grimes back with me as we walk. Yeah, I am, I will, I will stay a healthy distance away from the statue. I draw my phase dagger was the initiative I did and I probably... Look with the gem. Oh, I guess, yeah, 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 sure. I draw my phase dagger and, <laughs> and... When you back look away, through look the, the gem, gem, you don't see the burning eyes of the statue. Mm -hmm. um, it's just like a a cool ceramic mask placed over a stone face. But then when you move the gem, there's those burning but eyes. the statue nature. is moving, right? Yes, is it's it moving and it's coming its, for you. Yes. It, was, was it, it was in a seated position? No, it was standing on a pedestal and it is now stepping off the pedestal and over the altar and moving towards you. I think we have a weapon. No. It doesn't have a sword or an axe, but yeah. it's a statue that's come to life. I'm sure its fists are dangerous enough. Okay. Is, it a, is it a statue come to life or is it Valfara come to life to smite us? Well, uh, it's still your initiative, guys. All right, well, 
So Hurry. I can move, but I can I, I can draw my sword and talk right as at the same time. Sure, sure. So I think we're backing up. I'll draw my sword and I'll say, uh, "Stand down, beast!" In the name of the god of war. Beast. Yeah. All right. So we. Uh, I mean, we were. I don't know how big this room is, but we get out of it, yeah, right? I or go so. to the doorway and like. I don't know. Uh, uh, you can, can start we... backing out for Surzies, but I think the stand down beast in the name of Bellum while you're in the temple to Velthara uh, causes the statue to pick up speed and start chasing you. All right. So um, we're still backing up, though. I almost like I, I walked, but I readied action to run when this thing like breaks into a sprint. Okay. Uh, uh, I follow with William. Yeah, I mean, I, my, uh, I don't have any real action left this round, so uh, I'm I running wait to the William. I think we get, yeah, we probably can clear the temple. Oh, no, we walk past someone's bodies, right? So we go running in terror through the... Uh, God, do I have a city God. map street here for us to fight in? This thing chasing uh, this thing chases us. This thing the, chases through you the through the and crypt and outside into um, the snow. I would like to. Uh, I won't let it go that far. You can put us maybe at the entrance. Yeah, um, I don't actually have a, after, a battle map for this area though. This is a okay. Well, whatever. I mean, I, I will run for a minute and then I do want to draw my uh, hammer and probably wait at a staircase Ooh, outside sure. of the temple it. and smash it if it falls. Yeah, out. I'm thinking. I think we wait at the top of the stairs and if it comes yeah. up, we'll fight it there. Okay. Uh, if you act on your fear, does that uh? Or you, we're at minus two against this thing for uh, forever, or at least until the next encounter or something. Hold I on. think so. Hold on. Holding on. Never Holding have on. the tools that I thought I did. Oh, oh, that's if right. We, I do have ethereal arrows and stuff. If we kill it, do we put the mask on Bellum and see if that comes to life? <laughs> what, the, what, did, what did you do, Nick? <laughs> I don't know. Why was this even a good idea? You were just, like, tinkering to see what would happen. We're not killing any scrag in this episode. We're just going to get sidetracked. We're trying to... And hereafter, I said we were skipping all the side quests. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's what I'm taking issue with. All right. This is going to be our placeholder map. This is not... This is as close as we're going to get. This is the yes, a different temple. facing gods on purpose. This is a different temple. This is the. Yeah, I don't think fine. this is this helpful because we leave, right? Unless. Well, no. You said you stop at a staircase, right? But that's top of the stairs. The but stairs I want to. I want to leave Belthar's temple and see. Okay. Like my my our thought, I think, is that it won't chase us outside of the temple. Right. It does. I okay. want to kill it. So, so then, outside the entrance of the temple is where I think I would turn. Around. Is it slow? Like it's it's not. No, catchy. it is uh, your speed or faster. Neil, do you remember there was a staircase that we couldn't go down? Remember, that's yep. the staircase that I want to stand at the top of. So I've got high ground against this thing when it attacks me off the stairs. Okay, then I'm gonna do us a quick and dirty battle map. Let me get it. Grimes, you shoot it. I'm smashing it with this hammer. Oh yeah, okay, that's probably a good idea too. All right, so we would have maybe a something like this, sort of a building, and we would have a staircase on this backside over here. Um, so this over here would be the staircase coming up. Yeah. Shoot. There we go. Yeah. So that would be this would be the staircase. It's going to be coming up from here. And how many rounds later is this? Uh, I think this is probably one minute after it started moving. Okay, so we should roll initiative. Yes, we should roll initiative. For the next round. Last round, we cleared the catacombs, the body trenches. Mm -hmm. uh, let's see. Uh, do you happen to know the initiative for a Warhammer? Uh, I'll, I'll pull up that. Uh, I've got it right here. Hammer, war, speed, five. Okay, Grimes and the statue go first. 
Mm. I'll let the statue I'll attack me first. To the, you attack. To the, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Like I think I'm I'm some distance away, so the statue can make its attack roll before I like come running back and smacking it with this hammer. Hopefully. Okay, it comes to the top of the staircase and right. it will make two swinging attacks at Kel Marshall with its hands. Oh yeah, the first one uh, rolls a 14 against you, clattering harmlessly against your shield. Yeah. Uh, the second one rolls a 20 against you. That's shield again. All right, battering against your shield, hitting you hard, but doing no damage. Grimes? Did it feel like a weighty blow? Yeah, it did. Felt like hundreds of pounds behind it. All right, I, uh, come, so it's like standing in the staircase? Yes. I come like along the side of the staircase, I guess, and mm -hmm. swing with this war hammer. Um, I think I'm at, I don't know, minus three to hit. Natural 16. So a 19 plus any, uh, maybe plus one for high ground and then whatever magic bonuses. That hits. This is the uh, Warhammer of Silence or whatever. It makes so it no hits, sound makes on no impact. Sound. Mm -hmm. And normal Warhammer is D4 plus one damage, apparently. Is that right? Yeah, that's what your economic sheet says. Okay. Uh, with the bonus versus plate armor. Yeah. Maybe you should do extra damage versus plate armor too. Uh, maybe. Uh, um, this is stone, though. Yeah. Five points of damage, plus any magic, plus any special effects for this magic weapon. Okay. Um, so I will... What's your... Oh, your plus... Okay, yeah, I see what that's from. Okay. Uh, strength, and then the base weapon right. damage is plus one. Right. Uh, you one. crack the statue, sending little chips of granite and marble everywhere. Because it's a little, it's a combination of both granite and marble woven together into one statue. And um, no, uh, no sound. Nope. No sound, but no special effect. Like the silence doesn't appear to do mm -mm. anything. Nope. Kel Marshall. All right, I, um, I can come in with an offhand, actually. Oh, go for um, it. What's I your offhand? Draw, uh, let's draw Jexel's blade from my Sorry side. to interject, Grimes. You should have had a minus two to hit and damage as well. Why? Because of the fear. Oh, because of the fear. Oh, oh no, yeah. True. Minus so two that, to hit and damage. Uh, you actually missed that. Damage, damage as well. So a 17. So the, is there high ground? Yeah, there should no. be. Uh, it's no. A, well, maybe. Yeah, I guess it's still on a few steps. Go ahead. You get a plus one. Mm -hmm. So that would hit then. Okay. And flank, right? Or in a, like, yeah, on the side. Yeah. As well. I thought the yeah. flank was already included. And there's a penalty to damage for fear as it's well? It's two to hit and damage. Yeah. Oh, um, it's a shame I have not a hand. single enemy ever failed it. Yeah, some BS. Yeah. Some GM hacks right there. Oh, I don't know why you gave uh, Velthara a mass. All right, and I do have an offhand. Um, All right, take your points. offhand. Hmm? Take it. If you're going to yeah, do yeah, it. Yeah. yeah, there's just a lot of math involved. Um, my base is plus. All right, I think it's like, I don't know. Let's just see if I roll a 20. No. No, the offhand hits harmlessly. Marshall, right, minus sword. two for the mask. Oh, plus a, one for okay, yeah, minus two for the mask plus one for high grounds. Yeah, so minus one total. Sure. Uh, plus any extra bonus now that my sword's plus six or whatever it is. Okay. I, don't, I don't know what it is yet, but you, you tell me. Eighteen. Nope. What? No, nope. just hit on an eighteen. Uh, there was a magic bonus on top. He has unknown and... magic bonus on his hammer. Damn it. Your sword Scared. slashes and does nothing. Go for your second attack. 31. There you go. That'll hit. That'll clear by 10. Give me double damage. Triple damage, I guess. Fire get tripled? Nope. Never has before. But you keep checking every week. I keep checking every week. One day I'm going to make a mistake. And you'll say yes. 26. Yes, Wonderful. Um, this is a amazing critical blow with your arming sword of fire against a stone statue. Yeah. 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 I need you to make me a saving throw versus crushing blow for your flaming sword. Um, metal against crushing blow. Roll a seven or higher on a d20. Does the statue have to make a saving throw versus crushing blow? Don't worry well? about the statue. 
so Dude, with the power of a god. Oh. <laughs> uh, it's sparks go everywhere in addition to the flames. The statue takes definitely not 26 damage. I think um, it's resistant. It is a magic weapon, though. It is a magic weapon, Which yeah. Means... It doesn't take any fire damage. I'm just going to tell you right off the bat. It's stone, so it, it's not bothered by fire. All right. Um, but the rest of the damage will go through. Where are you oh, at, Bellum? Uh, uh, let's roll initiative. So the weapon is okay? The weapon's fine, yeah. Okay, all right. Uh... Oh, so slow. Um, Quickly! Oh, I haven't got any... Hurry! I haven't got any... Make fire. a decision! What? So look through the portable hole and grab a grab another sword. What's that? Wait, your uh, what's wrong with your current sword? It's got a break, man. I'm not going to break my magic sword. Yeah, I mean, you're, if you want to, like, stop, pull the like, portable crit. hole out of your backpack, all right, all right. lay That's it down, action. dig I mean, through it. I need a sword. I got, like, seven on my belt right now. Oh, fine. You convinced I, me. But I think it was only because you critted. Well, it's gonna right? happen again. I saw. Let's go for it, William. It's your turn. I Statues feel like before you. Him if he lets his magic sword get broken on a statue of uh, of a rival god, like he better like take the shards back to him and. Twenty six is a hit. Fun. Don't bother it's rolling fight. the fire or damage. Sorry. No, that's all right. And 11. don't bother rolling a save versus crushing blow. Not on this attack, no. Yeah. Okay. Uh, the statue goes. It will take a swipe at Grimes with one arm. Oh Seriously? god, with an 11. Nope, not even oh, close. Oh, not I even close. Like Backstab. And one against William for a 26. That's a hit. There we go. Seems like the hammer had no special effect, you know? Um, it has a damage modifier on it, but other than that, it is but silent. It, it didn't seem... It Narratively, it seemed to me like hitting a statue with a hammer was the best approach, but it sounds like I'm probably better off going with... Mechanically, I'm probably better off using swords. Go ahead and try it. Uh, the hit against you, William, okay. Okay. is for 19 damage as the statue crumples your chest armor at you. Um, and it becomes Grimes' turn. Oh, yeah, sorry for interrupting. I didn't realize it had a it hit with its second shot. That's oh, right. yeah. Did you uh, subtract your damage for your two hits, William? No. Okay. Give it another four HP. Yeah. Back. Um, yeah, so I'm switching to swords because it sounds like, I, from my observation, it didn't look like the did anything spe the magic right. hammer did anything special. Yeah. So. Are you now mm -hmm. below the statue? Did you jump down the stairwell? Uh, I want to back attack. I think I climb up its back and or sure. use, okay. probably using swords to slash climb my way up its back. Mm -hmm. So okay. taking back attack, probably no more high ground. So I think I just negate the, yeah, whatever, whatever. Go for it. All right, I got three attacks. Uh, my swords should be at plus six to hit, plus any mag. I don't think there is any magic bonus on this thing. So two D20. I'll just roll, roll, I'll just roll it twice. D20 plus six. 18's 18. not good enough. Um, yeah, okay. Uh, 15 is also not good enough. Nope. And then an offhand. Come on, Jexel. And I get a D5 on the Jexel blade, right? Right. Can I just roll a D5? Please. D20 plus D5 plus five whatever. Five this round. So that's 23 hit. on a hit. And then and you I get, get five D6 damage. Plus one, plus five. Minus two. Oh, minus damn. Ah, oh, so seven. Does he have to roll a crushing blow check? I don't see a crit. He did not, not crit. A crit. Uh, let's roll initiative. Second attack. Second attack. Go for it. Um, can I? No, oh, it's no difference. Twenty-three. Uh, for oh, I already did it. Sorry, nine. Okay, let's roll initiative. Grimes. Uh, another flurry of blows. Uh, that's first attack misses. Second uh, attack hits. I'm just realizing that I probably should have saved that second one for the end of the round. Yes, you should have. Because that's the second one with the same sword. Yes, that would have um, made more sense. Uh, should I still resolve it? And then I'll do my third attack now. Oh, that's the offhand. So that's I crit, a crit. with Jex Jexel's blade, and it rolls a one. Uh, 
All um, right, well, give me some damage and then roll me a saving throw versus crushing blow. Yeah, damage. so, yeah. So the first one is just a D8 plus strength. With, uh-huh. Right, nice. two. So no strength, but there's no strength bonus with the swift sword. So it's just a D8. Is that the, the one without the Which strength bonus? Minus yeah, two it's the one without the strength bonus. And then minus. Jexel's blade is a okay. D6. Oh, minus, minus two to that. So that's right. six. Okay. Jexel's blade will just be a straight D6 this round. Ones. Uh, oh, God. Snake eyes. Jexel, you bastard. And a save versus that, crushing blow. That, that includes the... You get plus one to damage for the enchantment and plus one for strength and minus two for the thingy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Cool. I've already done the minus. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. Seven yeah. damage total. Um, and then it, what is the save that I'm looking At, for? Or should I not know? Uh, on crits, the magic bonus for the Jexel Blade is doubled as well. So it actually does two damage double, this round. Doubled to ten. Uh-huh. So that's wow. really cool. And then a saving throw versus uh, Saving crushing throw blow. versus crushing blow. It breaks. It explodes. Yeah. Oh my god, Jexel. I, I was yep. looking forward to that blade. It would have been great, but, uh, but it's broken now. That's perfect. It shatters. Does it do any bonus damage when it explodes? No, it doesn't. But there's a, a loud, thunderous crackle of energy that kind of rolls across the area for a moment. Uh, but it lies broken into a thousand pieces at your feet. Well, shit. I liked that one. That was yep. a good one. Yep. Uh, William, do you get your first yep. attack off right now? And the statue goes at the same time. Uh, but your attack will succeed. You hit six. Six damage as the oh, statue okay. goes to grab your sword with a twenty-eight. Finally, oh, yeah, it's not opportunity. Um, no, because it's making it's a statue. Like you don't get attacks of opportunity when it punches you. So, okay, yeah, but it's not punching me. It's grabbing, it's grabbing my sword. your sword. Yeah, but you go at the same initiative phase. So I think. You make an attack at it, it grabs your sword, and the sword cuts into it, doing that six damage, but it still gets the grip on your blade. All right, what do you want me to roll? I want you to make me, um... Strength? Yeah, give me an opposed strength check. That's it. I'm just gonna roll it here for more funsies. 36. It rips the sword out of your hand. Um, and holds it up high, and then makes a cracking attack at you with its other fist, with a 23 to hit. Hit. Does the sword stop burning? It does. You take 13 points of damage. I, I am realizing I forgot an extra damage die for uh, for my crit. That oh, exploded please. my sword. Give so me I'll, the extra damage die. There's three more damage for Wonderful. that exploding sword. Well, the statue is Thanks, being broken apart. Uh, there's chips broken off it all everywhere. The hand that's holding William's sword has a crack running down it. Uh, the flaming eyes have a little bit of a sputter to them, but right. the statue keeps coming. Second attack? Uh, you don't have a sword. Uh, I actually do have a Scrag magic sword in my, on my card sheet, so. Like attached to your body, not just in the bag? It's not in the portable hole, if that's... Yeah, it's just you wielding it like you've strapped it's on your sword belt or something. Mm, I don't know. Is it unreasonable to have two swords? Do you think it might be? Um, I've got like four. I don't think it's unreasonable. <laughs> I just don't know if William's been doing it. You know. I mean, I kept. I I, I took it as a backup sword. So. All right. Well, like then you have a backup sword. Go for it. This one's actually plus one, so this would be a plus thirteen on this roll. Go for it. Sixteen. Oof, miss. No good. Initiative. All right. Ah, uh, sorry, that's 14. Okay. Grams? Seven. Ooh, you and the statue go at the same time. Oh, Robo one. Okay, um, so I... Yeah. It's going to take both of its hands and Bellum's flaming sword and just snap it. Uh, okay. The sword shatters with a thunderous Wait, it clap. it doesn't get a save? No, not when Magic the get a save statue well, of Vel... Velthara All right, as long as you're admitting it's a uh, godly GM hacks. Yes, it is godly GM hacks. It breaks the sword. All right. I my blows are ineffective. Totally ineffective. Um, Marshall. Oh God, it's terrible. All right. Can I get a second shot at the second end of the round? Shot. Go for it. 
No, awesome nothing is working. William. 25. That's a hit. That's a crit. No, it's not a crit. It's not a natural 18 or higher. Uh, D8 plus 4 plus... No, plus 5. Yeah. 13. Uh, thir is that, that's including your minus 2 already? Yeah. And I, Grimes, I you, you miss both I, times. I can't do anything. This is the right. statue. The statue uh, aims a here. kick for William with a 21? No. Nope. Nope. Wait, let me check. I think it's 22. Yeah, 22. Oh, you barely put your shield down to avoid the epic crotch kick from the <laughs> statue of Velthara, and it kind of backhand swings towards Grimes. With a 19? No. Nope. All right. Second attack. Second attack. 30. You Ooh, had a 22 for me. 30 now, clears Neil, by 10. If, if Bellum had given me high mastery, that would be the time to tell me. <laughs> um, four, but I think there's a minus two for my fear. Okay, so Just, two. I guess. This is the blade that doesn't give me... So it doesn't give me strength bonus, but my fear is still... So it's, yeah, Oh, but so you get multiple attacks because of it, right? Yeah. And it doesn't... Yeah. Okay. It has no magic bonus, correct? Um, da, 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 da. I'm looking for it. Where the hell is the I, spear? I believe that it's got no bonus to hit and damage. But... Light sword. Plus one attacks per round. No strength bonus to hit or damage. Yeah. And no magic bonus. Okay. And no magic bonus. It's just yeah. faster attacks. More attacks. 16, did, 16 damage, Neil. What did you call it? Okay. Uh, light sword? Light sword. Like a lightweight Ooh. sword? I'd call it swift sword. Swift but, uh, sword is better, maybe? I don't know. I don't know. Uh, you do 16 <laughs> to it. It is so close. The statue's on its last legs. You can see you got cracks the running did, across right? it. Yes, it did. All right, and I got one more attack at the end of the round. Go for do it. Do you like Grimes? Nope. All right. Oh, wait, this statue. is okay. I thought I, didn't, I thought the statue had gone. It did not. Had right? it? No, no, it didn't. But yeah, it doesn't matter. I missed that roll. Uh, didn't it? No, the crotch kick was last round, right? I think so. Yeah, I think I so. Just rolled well yeah, this yeah. round. Okay. Uh, I draw, I, I intend to attack with a dagger this round. Okay. Initiative two. Uh, hold on. It gets its attacks still though, so it makes a. Oh shit. Um. Wait, it, it already attacked them. It tried to kick me. Was that this round? It rolled last initiative, and you guys all just made your yeah, attacks. No, I think it hasn't gone yet. So That's I don't think it's gone yet this round, yeah. So up. it aims another kick for William. That's a d12, not a d20. Uh, natural one. Statue gets a saving throw versus death and fail. Passes, 17's a pass. And the back kick towards Grimes is a... Actually, I just used my sword. 25. Hits. It kicks you in the chest for 14 damage. What does it roll? That's 2d12. To, uh, you said 14? Yeah. Which is reduced. 13. This whole visit to conquest is counterproductive. From now on, I'm leading this expedition. <laughs> just kidding. Just kidding. Uh, All right, initiative. Nine. That's with a sword, by the way. All right. It's your turn, Marshal. All right, it's time to take its head off. Shit. I like Grimes quickly. Do you not have an, did you have an offhand weapon or what? 24, no. That's a, is that a crit? That does not clear by five. Oh my God, and I do just a D8 minus two. You've got it, you've got it. For the fear, four points of damage. Statue crumbles before you, falling to bits on the ground. Does the mask fall off its face? Uh, well, as the statue just kind of crumbles into a thousand pieces, the mask is left lying face down on the stone floor. <laughs> I what up the, what I in up. heaven's name was that? A victory for Bellum. I, uh, I, I bend down and pick up the pieces of my sword. Uh, I mean, there's hundreds of them. It's shattered like... Oh, okay. Uh, 
really? tempered glass. I don't think that's how a weapon would break. Although I guess if it's magic and it's, it's magical and is broken by a god's deity. Is Jexel's uh, blade the same? Same, scattered to a thousand pieces on the floor. I mean, I I think we pile up all of these and drag them over to the Temple of Bellum and. I think so. Is the hilt is, bro- is the hilt broken? Isn't it? No, the hilt is in one piece. I'll take the hilt though. Okay. I'll take Jexel's hilt as well. I think we just. T- I think we're trucking all of this over to Bellum, aren't we? Take as much of the uh, rubble as we can. All right, you pick up yeah, the pieces. Then it's the night, right? So I guess we work into the night. We we recover our warmth by uh, uh, by pumping by, iron. By yeah, dragging stones across the town square. And you head back uh, down. I think I want a healing poultice. Maybe you should do the same. Or yeah. do we want to? Like, we're not gonna. Are we gonna wait a month? I don't. No, think so. I think I, I think, think you're right. This. Use one each. Uh, might as well use one for the portable hole. Keep the ones on your uh, okay. Your class. Are they? It's three d eight or three d four. Plus three. Three d eight plus three. three. You rub the healing poultices into your bodies. Only twelve, which recovers that blow that I just took. <laughs> twelve and sixteen. All right. Take a few hours to kick in. Yeah, it would be done by the time we get all those stones down to the temple. Um, and we got to drag him to the basement. No, it's going to be a long night. Yeah, so I think we make a big pile of stones on the altar and then place the mask. Stones? Are you taking the stones of Velthara into the Temple of yeah. Bellum? Should at least yeah. take the head, maybe mm. her hands. Well, if the head is in one piece, then definitely we take that. But I, I'm imagining it's like just rubble. But we'll grab mm. the bigger pieces. I want to drag it all, make a pile of it, and then put the mask on top. Okay. And our broken blades. Yeah. Do we do all this in one go, or is like a? Do you want to do a separate you... sacrifice for uh, for your sword versus the other the other weapon? Like, or, or do we just make one mass offering? I think we just do it all together. Yeah. Okay. So you pile statues, stones, the mask, your yeah. broken blades. What else? Yeah. Anything else? Hmm. Uh, I don't think so. Okay. And then? Nail down again. Uh, yeah, so I'll kneel down next to shall, Kel I shall, Marshall. I shall lead the prayer. Um, Lord Bellin, we have slain your eternal enemy, Velfara. Grants us your strength. There is a gentle warmth that begins to extend from the statue of Bellum. A warmth? Uh, a warmth. You know, the, the biting cold of the area begins to subside. Um, it gets to maybe just above freezing in this area. But there, that's... kind of stops at that point. Does all of the um, rubble not right. disappear? No, it's still there. What what about the blade shards? They're still there. They're giving off a faint light now, in addition to the statue, which is giving off a faint light. What about the mask? Uh, uh, No, the flames in it are gone. I gingerly reach for the uh, hilt of my sword. It's warm to the touch. I hold it aloft. Feels like something's missing. I mean, aside from the obvious blade. <laughs> Feels like something's missing. Yep. All right, I'll throw in the um, the one of the scrag sword that I've got as well. All right, you toss pile. in your extra scrag sword. It lands the clatter. Does it start to glow as well? It takes a few moments for it to begin to pick up light. And as you toss the sword on, the warmth goes up a degree or two. All right, I think um, I get carried away at this point and start loading on loading on like random scrag magical swords and bows and cloaks and boots maybe we keep the cloaks in reserve because we need them but you start tossing on scrag swords and bows and boots into the pile trying to bring flame to the land with each sword and boot and bow that you toss on the gets warmer in here and the statue glows more and each of the items on the statue emits a brighter light 
So, I, yeah, I think, I don't know, it, it probably takes 10, 15, 20 minutes to get to this point, but I think it becomes almost frenzy-like where I just keep throwing stuff on. Yeah. Yeah, until it, it's hot and you're sweating in here. It's like a sauna. Uh, all of the ice is melting and then beginning to evaporate and boil or sublimate, however you want to call it. Um, and why don't we go to a break as the statue begins to get too bright to look at. We'll see you on the other side of a break. Bye.